Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply new base classifier to the given data set to classify the new example into one of the classes. This is the solved example number 8. The link for other examples is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given a data set with uh, three attributes, namely department, age and salary. And this status is the target column in this case. Given this particular data, we want to classify the new example that is now uh, to solve this particular example the very first thing what we do in uh, new base classifier is we calculate something called as the prior probabilities the prior probability of this particular status uh, or the target in this case so this particular status has uh, two possibilities senior and junior so probability of senior is equal to how many examples are there we need to count in this particular case so if you look at here totally 11 examples are there out of that 1 2 3 4 and 5 are seniors remaining 6 are junior in this case 5 out of 11 is the probability of senior similarly probability of junior is equal to 6 out of 11 in this case so once you calculate this particular probabilities like uh, prior probabilities we need to calculate something called as the conditional probabilities to calculate the conditional probabilities, uh, we can uh, form something called as the contingency table over here. That is uh, the first conditional probabilities of uh, the probability of department given this particular status. Okay, what is the value of uh, department can be? It can be sales, systems, marketing or secretary in this case. And what are the possible values of status here? Senior and junior here. So that is what I have written here. The class can be sales, system, marketing or secretary and the possible uh, the targets are senior or junior in this case now how can, how can you read this particular thing is probability of sales given senior in this case the value is equal to how much 1 by 5 now the question is how to calculate this particular 1 by 5 the very first thing what we need to understand is uh, the denominator whatever we have written here that is nothing but the number of uh, senior examples that is uh, in this case we have five senior examples so that is the reason everywhere we have written divided by five in this case and uh, in this second uh, row that is the number of junior examples how many junior examples are there six junior examples are there so everywhere we have written divided by six in this case now we need to understand how to get the uh, numerator here that is nothing but probability of sales given senior so probability of sales how many sales examples are there three sales examples are there out of three sales examples how many senior examples are there there is only one senior example so that's the reason one divided by number of senior examples here similarly probability of sales given junior so when we have department as sales how many junior examples are there this is the first one and this is the second one there are two uh, junior examples are there out of six junior examples that is two by six also written as one by three in this case I will take one more example uh, for your understanding purpose. Let us say that marketing. Again, denominator you can see here, the number of senior examples are uh, 5, number of junior examples are 6 here. Only thing is we need to understand how to get the numerator here. That is probability of marketing given senior. Where is marketing? Marketing is present here and marketing is present here. There are two marketing examples. So probability of marketing given senior. How many senior examples are there? There is only one senior example when department is equal to marketing. So that's the reason one divided by five we will get. Another one is a junior. So we will get one by six in this case. Similarly, we need to calculate probability of age given status. So age can be uh, any uh, range in this particular case. Status is again senior or junior over here. Again, the table looks something like this one. The first age range is uh, 21 to 25 age group here. That is, this is the uh, number what we have. Uh, how many number of uh, examples are there with one, uh, 21 to 25 here? There is only one example. And what is the class with which it belongs to? Junior here. So probability of 21 to 25 given senior. We don't have any example. So that's the reason numerator is 0, denominator is again 5 because 5 senior examples are there. When it comes to junior, there is one example in this particular age group. So 1 divided by 6, 1 is the number of uh, junior examples when we have this particular age group and number of junior examples is 6 over here. I will take one more example for your understanding purpose that is uh, 31 to 35 age group. 31 to 35 age group we have uh, 1 here. This is the first one and then uh, this is the second one third one over here and this is the fourth one so total four examples are there 
now uh, we will try to identify the numerator for senior and junior probability of 31 to 35 age group given senior how many senior examples are there this is the first one and then this is the second one here so that is the reason we will write a 2 by 5 here and when it comes to the remaining two if you look at this particular thing this is a junior here and this is also junior here so that's the reason we will write 2 by 6 that is also written as 1 by 3 in this case with the same note we will calculate the probability of salary given status also uh, this is how the contingency table for probability of salary given status looks like once you calculate the prior probabilities and conditional probabilities we can classify the new example into one of the classes so to classify an example into one of the classes that is uh, marketing 31 to 35 age group and 46k to 50k salary we need to calculate two values here that is probability of senior given this example and one more is probability of junior given this example probability of senior given this example is probability of senior that is the prior probability probability of uh, what is given to us in the first attribute marketing given senior what is the second attribute 31 to 35 that is probability of 31 to 35 given senior probability of 46k to 50k given senior over here we know all these particular values we have already calculated probability of senior that is uh, total 5 senior examples are there out of 11 so we will get 5 11 here probability of marketing given senior marketing is here given senior this is the value that is 1 by 5 probability of 46k to uh, 31 to 35 age group given senior uh, that is this one value that is 2 by 5 here and probability of 46k to 50k that is over here and given senior that is equivalent to 2 by 5 and if you solve it you will get 0 0.0145 over here similarly we need to calculate probability of junior given a because probability of uh, senior given a is 0 0.0145 probability of junior given a is equivalent to probability of junior probability of marketing given junior probability of 31 to 35 given junior probability of 46k to 50k given junior we know all the values we will put it here we will get the value as 0 0.0101 in this case now if you compare these two values that is 0 0.0145 and 0101 this is more so we can say that probability of senior given new new example or you can say that a is more than probability of junior given a we can say that the new example this new example will be classified as in this case senior over here now coming back to the one more example that is uh, the sales 31 to 35 66k to 70k over here again we need to calculate probability of senior given b here that is a new example probability of senior probability of uh, sale here so sale given senior probability of 31 to 35 given senior probability of 66k to 70k given senior we know all these particular values we will put it here again we got the value of 0 0.0145 over here coming back to the second uh, calculation that is probability of junior given b probability of junior multiplied by probability of sale that is the value over here given junior probability of 31 to 35 given junior probability of 66k to 70k ju given junior here put all those particular values you will get zero as the answer in this case these values you will get it from these particular three tables now once you compare these particular probabilities probability of senior given b is more than the probability of junior given b the meaning of this one is the new example is again classified as senior in this particular case so in this video i have discussed it how can we apply Navy's classifier to the given data set to classify the new example into one of the classes? I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.